In this video, we're going to continue our exploration of SolidCam and create a face milling operation to bring the stock down to the desired height in, uh, in SolidCam. So to do that, I've now activated the SolidCam 2.5D um, tab, and this is where we first opened up a new CAM project, and it's also where we have some different tools. So one of them that we're going to use is the face tool. So I'll go ahead and click on the face. And I get a dialog box. All of SolidCam's operations work in a similar manner. We're going to choose the geometry that we're interested in cutting. We're going to choose the tool used to cut that geometry. We're going to pick what level we start and finish. Then we're going to choose the algorithm um, and how SolidCam actually generates the code. And then there's some other details that in today's discussion we won't consider. So the first thing we'll consider is that we're the geometry. Looking at the geometry, this is Mac 1, position 1. And so the coordinate system has already been established. And what we want to do is we want to find a new location from that coordinate system. So I'm going to click the New button. A dialog pops up. So use, with Model selected and Box selected, I'm going to click on the Base Geometry Define. And it's looking for me to select which CAD model. I actually only have one thing. So I'm going to click any face on my part, and it's going to find that part. And it's going to call it Solid 1. Click the check mark. And what it drew is a bounding box on the XY plane that starts where that location begins. So that's all I needed. I needed this loop. It's this yellow loop that's going to tell SolidCam how to start generating G-code. So I'll click the check mark. Our geometry is now established and it's called, this particular geometry is called Face Mill. So now I'm ready to pick a tool. I'm going to go to the Tool tab and I don't have any tools yet so when I go to Select these are the lists of the tools that I have in my library and I don't have any right now. So to start off, I need to create a tool. So I'm going to add a milling tool. And the mill I want to add is a face mill. We're going to call this tool 5. The reason I'm doing that, that this tool is a real tool that exists on the Haas milling machine that we have here at, at the University of Tennessee. And, and it is physically located in, part, in tool holder number 5. So that's why I'm putting it there. Um, for the description, I'll leave that blank. For the diameter, the face mill is 3.1 inches. And although, if I was really going to be cutting this, so we'd have to be very careful making sure all of these were correct. Uh, just to get a, a simulation of what's going on, I'm just going to go down here to the length. And for the total length, we're going to set that length to be 3.5 inches. And I probably could change, if you want to, you can change the number of flutes. This actually has six flutes. Um, that's not going to matter for looking at the code. When I go to Tool Data, SolidCam has some default settings for speeds in the X, Y, and in the Z direction. I want to change these. So feed in the X, Y direction, I want to be 1 inch per minute. And in the Z direction, I want it to be 0.25 inches per minute. The speed rate is already set at 1,000 RPM, so that looks good. Everything looks okay. So this is the tool. This is now tool 5. So I'll go ahead and select tool 5. So coming back here, we've defined our geometry. We've defined that we're using tool 5. The next thing is our levels. This is where we're going to start. I'm starting at level 0. And if I'm not sure, I just click that and pick. I want it to start where the stock begins, which is not actually highlighted here. Um, but this is at the zero level, so I'd type in zero and make sure that that's, that's selected. And then for the face depth, I'm going to choose the surface of the part. Notice it automatically measured that for me at minus 0 0.05, so check. And we can do um, a step down of 50 thousandths per pass, so we're really only going to make one pass here to make sure that everything looks okay. Technology. So the options here are um, how the facing occurs. Because this is such a small part, it's only going to be one pass. So the technology doesn't matter as much. Uh, but you can play around and see what other things are there. 
Having completed all of that, and the linking is how you get into one cut and another cut, and again, I'm just doing a single cut and stopping, so a lot of these parameters are not necessary for us. So having done geometry, tool, and levels, I'm ready to calculate, so I'll click the Save and Calculate button. The new operation has now been created here, and to look at what it looks like, I'm going to click the Simulate button. My preferred simulation model is Solid Verify, so I'll click Solid Verify, and what we'll see now is what the stock looks like before any cutting occurs. Here's your simulation speed. I suggest turning it down as, as far down as you can, and when you click play, you'll watch the header actually come in, and it made two passes, and it finished its cut. We also could step through one at a time, so every operation that it makes, there's one pass, goes back up, Let's see, zoom out a little bit. There's the second one, and it's finished. So I'm happy with that. So that's our first operation. And I can close this. If I wanted to edit just this G code, if I right click on just this operation, one of the options is G code generate and when I do that it's going to give me a chance to name it I'll just name it anything for now because I'm not going to save it anyway and this is the code that lists the steps to create that face so let me zoom out a little bit if I uncheck I will no longer see the path this is the tool path and this is when it's actually actually expecting to be cutting so red are fast moves green are approaches and blues are when it's actually expecting to be contacting material